Hey guys, this is Arvind Sareen. I run Copper Mobile. I started Copper Mobile about 10 years ago with the idea that everything you could do on Copper Communication, we wanted to bring it to mobile. Um, so, you know, a business where we develop mobile apps for enterprises. So, a lot of the different small businesses, medium businesses would come to us and they would have a certain process and they would like to bring in emerging technologies and specifically mobile to run it more efficiently. It could be eliminating paper-based process, it could be increasing collaboration, but just generally increasing revenue and decreasing cost. That's you know, what we do. So building apps that make business sense. So we have been affected just like many of you guys because of COVID-19. Let me show you where we used to work. Hey guys, so this is where the magic used to happen. But now, I guess the magic is happening virtually at home. So, but you know, we've been thinking. We've been thinking about the impact of this coronavirus and how a company like us, someone in tech space who's not maybe as hard hit as many of you guys. I know there are 600,000 restaurants in this country and there are many more hotels that are shut down, many more manufacturing plants that are thinking about shutting down. This is unprecedented. And I wanted to think about, get with my team, think about what can we do for all these people. So we really wanted to make a difference. We want to do something for the community. So I thought about it a lot. And I know that there are so many amazing people working in all these different industries that have so much talent, so much emotional intelligence, so much empathy to think about the end user. And that's part of what we do. So we've come up with a plan. We want to do a training for all of the different functions that we do at Copper Mobile. We want to make sure that we can provide this training in a virtual way where uh, we can train other people to transition from their existing roles that they, may, that they had earlier and uh, that may or may not come back. We're not sure. Let's think about all the various functions that we have at Copper Mobile. So it begins with strategy. So whenever we're prospecting or someone gives us a call, you know, we um, talk to them about what, what is their current process? What's the current state of affairs? And then we lay it out on a, on a piece of paper and then we think about, okay, how can a mobile app really help them? Would it really be beneficial? How would it help their business? So that's really the first step in strategy. So I know that we might need a lot of help in strategy. Then there's the second element, which is the design. I know that many people have taken some courses, you know, back in the day, and many people have this eye for designs. They know when they download a good app, they're like, oh, I really like this design for Robinhood or, you know, this um, Grubhub or these other apps. So, you know, I, I want those people who can give suggestions and, you know, research a lot of these apps to then come up with this design for one of our customers, you know, that we're going to sign up. So, so that's design. So there is strategy, then there is design, then there is business analysis. So that is um, a role of a business analyst. And what that person does is just really takes whatever that vision that customer provides and puts it into user stories. And many of you may not be familiar with the technical jargon, but that's okay. We'll, we'll explain all that. That's what the training's about. A user story is really like putting yourself in the shoes of the users and thinking about that, that step that we want to take from the mobile app or something that we want to execute in the mobile app in terms of a story. So that's a business analyst. And again, for many of you guys, I'm just repeating this stuff. Uh, you know, if you know it, that's great. Um, then after that, there's going to be development. Now, I know that uh, many of you uh, may have engineering degrees or many of you may have a lot of interest in coding. Some of you may have tried stuff on HTML. Uh, you know, that's going to be the hardest one. So there's going to be uh, you know, some, some prior knowledge that would be required for, for, to get into the developer training. So that's that. And then, last but not least, we have two other really good functions that are sales and marketing. So in sales, it's going to be about, you know, doing research, like how some of these businesses would be now affected from COVID-19. So, you know, talking to a lot of people, getting on the phone and understanding what has been the impact for their business and is there a way that they could now salvage some things? Is there a way that they can repurpose some things by the use of the mobile app and still be able to deliver their service or a modified service? They could pivot. I want to make sure that we create that group and drive that innovation and go out there in the community and get those ideas and then look at those ideas and see, you know, maybe we can develop some of them in partnership. Maybe we can, you know, develop some of them for free or revenue, 
you know, share type of an opportunity. So we want to get as creative as possible, you know, to help us drive some of this tech economy, you know, within the small businesses. And that's what we want to do. So that's going to be the sales role. Then there's the marketing role. I think most of you guys would fit in that marketing role because guess what it is? It's about sharing and getting the word out and coming up with different stories, um, you know, and uh, generating some content, you know. So we have been paying a ton of money to outside freelancers to create a lot of content. But I think once we do that training and once, you know, the people that are getting that training demonstrate that their ability to do a good job, I mean, I, I, I bet you we might be able to get a lot of you guys to work in content writing division. And you know, even if that's not the case, I know that a lot of businesses would need tons of content to be generated. And I wanna make sure that with this training, you guys get that platform to go out, apply for those jobs, generate content. And again, there's much, much, much more to it. You know, I, uh, I would love to share more with you on that. So that's why we're gonna be starting this training from April 1st. And like I said, it's gonna be free. For the first six weeks, we want as many people to sign up you know, um, as, can, as they can. So what next? Well, go to the website listed here and fill out the application. Um, and then someone would call you as soon as possible. Uh, we're really looking forward to having you on our team.